In October of last year, we looked very briefly at the idea that Mass Effect Andromeda may have more than one playable character. Hi, this is Rima from Mass Effect Odyssey, and today I'll be revisiting the theory that we'll be having two playable characters with the previous evidence and looking at evidence that E3 2016 gave us. The first piece of evidence is that this isn't anything new to gaming, with Halo, Assassin's Creed and GTA already using this technique. Bioware have delved into this idea themselves, with all protagonists showing up in future titles and with very small but beloved playable sections like Joker in Mass Effect 2. Multiple hostiles detected on the crew deck. Joker! This thing is crawling with those things! Stay close! I'll protect you! <laughs> Shit, shit. Point number two is the fact that the character we saw in the E3 2015 trailer, only really known as the N7 character, won't be the main protagonist. However, there is a great deal of significance placed on this character, i.e. in both the E3 trailers and the discussion of the importance of the N7 designation at con panels. Point number three is the Mac Walter comments at his own interview during this year's E3. He revealed many very small interesting things, such as confirming Ryder as a protagonist, and that there will also be, quote, one more Ryder, and the idea that there will be a Ryder family. But the most interesting point is, quote, we are going to approach the way you choose your character a little differently than we did with Commander Shepard. Point number four is the idea of two different squads. Now this idea comes from a close analysis of much of the trailers, as well as the leaked footage. So what evidence is there? Well, in the E3 2015 teaser, you get a very brief look at two potential crew members, what looks like a Krogan in dark armour and a female in light armour. Note that they are working with the N7 character. Then in the EA Plays 2016 trailer, you get another brief shot of a squad, including a female in white and blue, similar to that of the confirmed rider, a female in black and a Krogan in blue and yellow armour, with almost tribal design. Then there's also the multiple shots in the EA Play trailer with the N7 character and the Krogan in a dark blue armour. And finally in the leaked footage at about 31 seconds you get an overhead shot of the tattooed man on the floor, the Krogan with the gas grenade in red and a squad of three approaching. In this squad there's a human male with black and red armour, a female in light armour and a Krogan looking very similar to the Krogan in the EA Play's teaser. So what do these points suggest? Well, there are multiple Krogans for one, which is a point for another video as well as the fact that the N7 character, who note isn't our main character, has a three-person squad, perfect for a playable squad. And lastly, point number five. In the leaked footage, there's another small shot that helps validate this theory, the jetpack scene. In this scene, you get a character very similarly dressed to the N7 character in the playable section, jumping over a structure using a jetpack. Now is there going to be two playable characters? The question is still unanswered at this point, but what we do know is whoever the N7 character is, they will have a hugely significant role in the story, even possibly being another writer, a connection to our main character. So we ask again, what do you think about the idea that we'll have more than one playable character? Let us know in the comments below and please like and subscribe to stay in touch with more videos around E3 2016. Thanks again guys and as always we will see you next time.